we have a 14 foot enclosed trailer here custom built in Elkhart Indiana with a bathroom and shower it has air conditioning and a cubic sailboat mini wood stove I'll show you the key to having a good enclosed trailer is this, having a six inch frame if it's not six inches wide you're not going to be able to get the clearance to put your tanks in your black and gray water it's going to be a lot of trouble to put in a bathroom so this bathroom trailer company when they put this in insisted I have a six inch frame that's the trailer sway bar okay the company that built this is Continental Cargo I don't know if you can get a good look at this division of Forest River there's her phone number it has a uh, diamond plate floor there you see my uh, refrigerator on the counter and the, the kitchen sink I got full kind of right now ice maker and I have storage back behind here it's where I store a lot of stuff and then we have the air conditioner and we bought this and I installed the kitchen table myself it's just a fold out kitchen table we got off Amazon the bunk beds we had uh, we bought the it's a folding bunk bed frame and mattresses we bought from rvbusparts.com RV and busparts.com I believe something like that and we the back there we screened it all in it rolls up and ties at the top so if you open the two back doors you got a screened in area and over here we've got the cubic mini stove well, this mini stove is uh, made in Canada and that's the oven kit that goes on top and you can make meatloafs in there sometimes we just drop a candle in there in the summertime and it heats up the oven to about 140 degrees if you put a sandwich you wanted to keep warm in there or it's uh, just pretty to look at in the summertime. Doesn't heat up the camper too bad. They've got the stainless steel pipe to the ceiling. Now, if you're going to buy one of these and you're going to get the oven, you got to go a single wall pipe through here because of the clearance back here. Not much clearance. So if you put double wall in, you're going to be in trouble. Through the ceiling. We wrap that with uh, header tape, car header tape, and then going out to the roof, we did go double wall. From the roof on up, it's double wall, and uh, cap. it's got the wood stove cap. Cute little wood stove. It's a sailboat wood stove originally, but people put them in houses and trailers. My gear there. The gear I got stuffed under the bench is cast iron skillets, everything you would need, water distillation units, uh, arctic coolers, you name it, I have it in there just for anything you'd need to survive is pretty well under that bed. Here's the bathroom. Turn the light on. The thing I like about the bathroom is my last RV, a Class C, had a teeny tiny shower and I just hated that. So I had them put in a pretty good full size shower here. And I, you know, it eats up a lot of room in a 14 foot trailer, but I wouldn't trade it for nothing. I, the, having the, uh, and you notice I went diamond plate floor because cleaning carpets is a pain and who needs it so I'll throw some rugs down they get dirty they go in the washing machine so get some rag rugs 
So to me, this little trailer under here is my water tank, hot water heater, and inverters and little solar panels and other gear under there. I carry tools in here just enough to survive on and enough first aid supplies to survive on. Now I could go on for days about the tips I would put in this trailer and if you guys would like I will I'll take out the gear and show you things I made and built but it would take many videos to explain this trailer and why I did what I did so it's my happy little home away from home <laughs> But it's a nice little camper pull behind. It doesn't matter if your truck gets old, just get a new one to pull it. But I guarantee you with the trailer roof, the main reason I bought and had this built is RVs leak. All of them do. I don't care how expensive you get. The roofs will start leaking. But you'll see enclosed trailers that have been around 30, 40 years and still dry on the inside. And if you notice, I only put one window in. And there was a reason for that. You know, that's one less thing I have to worry about leaking, you know. And I can keep my eye on one window, just not a hundred of them in an RV. And the rubber roofs on these are on RVs leak. This has a metal roof that's seamed. And I have not seen, I think I've had this about four years now haven't seen any signs of leaks so that's why I did what I did well you know a lot of people say it's not very it, it's just not like a pretty house but if you're surviving you don't need a pretty house you just need everything that's gonna keep you alive and for $8,500 is what it cost to build this trailer. And then with the bathroom. And then the only things I did was put the beds in, the table, and the cubic mini stove. I probably added another three grand or four in accessories and stuff. And then under here, you get the Arctic cooler instead of the Yeti and $200 for a cooler. Why did I get a cooler? Because it's still nice to have ice when you have an ice maker and uh, if you can't use the ice maker you know you at least you got a cooler that'll last you know seven to ten days with the arctic the other gear i would just have to pull out and it'd take hours but uh this is a survival trailer and with the things you see happening nowadays with hurricanes and fires and chemical spills running whole people out of their towns in a moment's notice more and more people need to start thinking about this because they get out and there's no place for them to stay but their car and for an eighty five hundred dollar investment you know and for a lot of people that's one tax return they could have something like this built and have peace of mind and a fun camper to have so that's it that's my super enclosed trailer i didn't have to build it i didn't have to think well what am i going to do here and there i let the professionals worry about it and then i just stuck some simple beds in a simple folding table and a cubic mini stove and my gear that's it let somebody else do the work because if you were going to remodel an enclosed trailer from from scratch anyhow I bet you're gonna end up with eighty five hundred dollars or more in it unless you know you're just doing a plywood job but for eighty five hundred dollars you can have this so there you go thank you